Okay, let me uh, explain a little bit about what I was doing there. If you'll notice the line, that G note, which is on an upbeat, the placement of that note against the hi-hat and the bass is really going to help determine whether it grooves or not. If you're a little early or you're a little late on that note, which is the pushed note, the anticipated note, uh, it's going to change the feel of the line. So it's very important while I'm coming up with a line to listen to the bass and drums and really place it in the center of their groove. That little accent right there can really make it bubble along good. And then if you notice a chorus later, I kind of uh, started developing this little theme with some guide tones. I took a or a, any one of any one of those sounds uh, gave a little more pad for the soloist for the second verse, but then I went back to my bubble thing. So I'm developing this little theme that makes the soloist very comfortable. See how we have two things going now, but they're both based off of that very first theme I came up with. So you pay attention to where you place those upbeats and start developing your little comping parts. Now if you notice the voicings that I was playing as I developed that little muted part theme. You know, we're in the key of A and that ends up being an A sixth chord down to a G sixth chord but the bass player is playing A all the time. And this is one of those sounds that all blues players use. At some point, you find out part of the blues vocabulary is that sound. That sixth chord down to the ninth kind of sounding chord right there for that four chord. That's a D ninth chord right there, and I just took a little bitty piece of it because the bass has the bass covered. He's on that note. So we have good separation and sound. So that's just one little tip on finding, building your blues vocabulary, finding voicings that all of us use at some time or another. Now notice when I'm playing this muted part with the push beat on the G note. If you notice, it's not open sounding like that. You could do it that way, but it doesn't groove as hard as having a very tight sound. So I use the palm of my right hand to mute those notes, and I can put accents even though they're muted. Some of them are loud, some of them are soft. So I'm using the palm of my hand right here, resting against the strings. And you can determine how much mute you like to hear by moving your hand around a little bit back here on the pickup. 